Hi, welcome to lesson number 17. So today we're working with rests again and with our intervals. So we get a little bit of practice on both. Um, but the, the best part about today is it has one of my very favorite teacher duets in all of the books, all of these piano adventure books. So I'm excited to show you that one today. And um, it also has another kind of funny little song called Grumpy Old Troll Today. So it should be fun to learn. And I hope you enjoy this week's practicing and songs. So... So we are going to begin today again in our theory book. Today's um, theory lesson is 29, page 29, and we're going to be working with our rests again today. So let's review for just a minute. Last week we talked a lot about the half and the whole rests. So which one is this? What do you think? That is our half rest. Okay. What are these? These are not from last week, but before. These are our quarter rests. Okay. There's a half rest, quarter rest, half rest, okay. Um, down here gives us our example of our whole rest, okay. We're going to do something with that in just a second. But up here at the top, this is a pretty little, pretty easy little exercise. You need to figure out if the measure has too many beats. So looking over here, you're going to need to see this first. What is our um, time signature in order to determine how many beats in the measure? So. If you remember, the top number tells us how many beats per measure, and the bottom, bottom number tells us which note gets one count. So the quarter note, four meaning quarter, okay, um, gets one count, and there should only be three beats in a measure. So you need to put an X through any of these measures that have more than three beats. So I'm going to help you with the first one so you kind of see what we're doing. So if I add one, two, and then how much is a half rest worth? Two, so that gives me one, two, three, four, four beats, and I'm supposed to only have three. So I'm gonna just put a big X through that one. Then you'll go through and do the rest for the same. The next one, it says put an X through the measures with too few beats. So if they don't have enough beats, then you're gonna put an X through that measure, okay? Simple enough. Um, and then down here at the bottom, we're going to work together for a minute. I'm gonna give you a beat, okay? And I'm going to play an example for you. And you need to circle the kind of rest you hear in the example, okay? So you kinda have to count the beats as I stop playing. Does that make sense? All right, so let's try this first one, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna do a little bit better job. So I'm gonna give you the beat. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so hopefully you got that one as the whole rest because I had four beats where I wasn't playing anything. Okay, all right, here's the second example. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what kind of rests were in there? Hopefully you said the quarter rest. Um, there was just one beat at the end of each measure that didn't have a note being played. All right, and the last one. Here's your last example. Sorry, I'll give you the beat. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so hopefully on number three, you've circled half rest since it was two beats being rested upon. Okay, and that is it for our theory book today. So. Not too bad. We're going to go ahead and move on to our technique and artistry book. And keep your pencil out because in this book, you're going to be writing down the intervals at the beginning of each of these. So looking at this first one, my interval is from a C to a G. So space, space, space. So that's a fifth, right? 
If I have C to an F, and sometimes it's easiest just to play them. And then you can say one, two, three, four. That's my fourth. Okay. Next we have E to C. Okay, so that's a third. And you're going to go ahead and write all of those intervals in before you play this song. And this song has a little teacher duet. Um, the thing that you need to remember about this song is you're going to have these notes here. One, two, three, four. Just make sure you give each of these notes at the ends of the measures their full two counts. Okay, and then back here we have whole notes, so make sure that you give them, well, actually at the end of each of these, make sure you count four full beats before continuing on. That's going to help a lot when you get to the teacher duet, um, especially down here, it's really slow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so super slow, easy going. Um, I'll give you an example of this song. Okay, sorry, my camera's a little wonky. All right, here we go. So it starts up here on, we're in the treble C position, okay? My left hand though, this is new, and I need to show you this. I didn't realize, I forgot. What does this mean? I have a treble clef and a treble clef, okay? That means that my left hand is going to be playing in the treble clef as well. So what is this note right here? Okay, it's not the bass clef, it's the treble clef. So this is going to be G in the treble clef, okay? So that's a little tricky. That might trick us up a little bit. But, so my right hand is starting here in treble C and my left hand is going to also be in the treble clef playing this G with the thumb, okay? I'll count us off. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 Make sure you hold that the whole four counts. You notice at the very end there my C was just holding while my top was changing really slowly okay that's a pretty slow sounding song I don't remember how fast the teacher duet is but let's see how it goes it's gonna be four beats and then you begin so we'll count it off um, and start here we go one two ready go that's not too bad. Um, one thing in here I didn't point out is the dynamics, so make sure you're looking at those. Mezzo forte, pianissimo, forte, pianissimo, forte, mezzo forte, 
That's a piano, piano. Okay, so just make sure you're aware of those. All right, and that's it in that book. So we get to move on to this funny little song, Grumpy Old Troll, okay? Grumpy Troll, Grumpy Troll, Grumpy Old Troll, Grumpling, Grumping for his hat. Where is it? Where is it? Where is my hat? Drat. Okay, so it's kind of just this funny little song. But we have some intervals in here. Here's a fourth, fourth, Okay, then we have bum, second, third, fourth, second, third, fourth, fifth, fourth, third, second, second. Okay, so there's lots of intervals in here to watch for. And we start out loud. And then this is kind of fun. My left hand is going to play this G really loud, and then my right hand is going to be quiet. Bum, 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 okay. So, and then loud here, and quiet over here. Octave lower, it says you can do two octaves lower. That's what 15 MA means, two octaves lower. So really down at the bottom of the piano. So, okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Watch the staccato. down two octaves, okay, so one, two, really at the bottom, okay, and those are the snores at the end, it says. All right, so fun little tune, and last but not least, this is my favorite, okay, this one's called 500 Year Old Melody, and it's just a really pretty little song. There's a few things in here that we need to look at before we um, get going on it, though. Um, our hand position is a little bit different. We're going to be kind of in, well, my three finger is going to start on A and my one finger is going to start on D. So just really watch for that. But there's lots of repeats. So I'm going to hit here and go back to the beginning. Okay. Then continue on and then go back here. Okay. So these repeats, we've got to go, you kind of bounce back and do them again. And then it'll continue on clear until the end. Okay, so just this first page, you've got to repeat this first part, I think, and this part before moving on to this. Okay, so there's a little bit of dynamic work, mezzo forte at the beginning. Then the first time through, you play this one, you play it loud, and the second time is soft. And then it's mezzo forte and forte and piano at the end. Okay. So I'm gonna play this for you first without the teacher duet, and then we'll add the teacher duet in. So my left hand, third finger, is starting on A. My right hand, first finger, is starting on D, okay? So this is just a really nice tune. Here we go. One, two, ready, go.
All right, so here we go with the teacher duet. And it's just really pretty. So let's go for it. One, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 